Hi there, this is a quick video walkthrough of how to import a GPX file into Strava. In this case, I'm making use of a shared file that's uh, in a group that I belong to in a Facebook group called trailrunning.vegas by Desert Dash. The uh, file I'm interested in is called bunny to fossil In this case, it was uploaded by Benji. Here, I want you to download it into a local folder. Um, in, the, in my case, it's uh, desktop.trails. Save it. Next, I want you to go over to my Strava account uh, page. In this case, I'm already logged in. I want you to go to the top right-hand corner, click on Upload Activity. Then I want you to choose files. In this case, I want you to select a file I just downloaded and saved earlier. Uh, once the upload is complete, I want to name it. In this case, I'm going to name it uh, Bunny to Fossil, uh, courtesy of Benji, because he's the one that had shared the original file. A important thing here to remember is to go ahead and select on private. What it does is it doesn't count the mileage that was ran by Benji into my overall total mileage. Click on save and view. Here, I want to make good note of the date in which uh, uh, the um, GPX file was saved, which is July 28, 2015, uh, because that becomes very important uh, later on when we take a look at this GPX file and convert it into a custom route that can be loaded into the phone app and be used while you're out on the trail all by yourself as a way to uh, guide yourself around and not get lost. In this next segment of the video, I'm going to walk you through how to take the uh, GPX that we just loaded uh, from Benji and convert that into a uh, custom route that can be used. If you recall earlier, I mentioned to keep note of the date, uh, July 28th, 2015, as the date on the GPX file that was um, uploaded. Here, the first thing we're gonna do is go to Strava, go to training, go down to training calendar. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down to July, because I remember that's what it was. 28th, and look, that's that's the actual date in which the GPX file was created, that I had uploaded. Uh, I can actually preview and look around and say, yep, that's, that's the run that Benji did. And that's the one I want to use and create a custom route map that I can use in my app later on when I'm out there. You want to go to create route, which gets you to the route builder. Here it does some automatic routing, but as you can see, it's not very correct. So we're going to head and clear it out and make our own custom route. Go ahead and I'm going to zoom in, click at the starting area. That's kind of where my starting point is. I'm going to go down to a portion of the trail where I know that uh, route builder is doing a good job of doing it automatically. In the seg next segments, I know that it's not going to do a very good job automatically, so I'm switching to manual mode, and I'm going to manually select um, parts of the route. In this case, you don't have to be—I don't have to be very accurate. I just want to be close enough so that when, when I'm out there, uh, I have a general sense of am I on the right route or am I off uh, off route? And if necessary, I will kind of correct my direction based on what my uh, what the route says. You can see I'm speeding this up a little bit and save you the time. And then what you find is that certain part of the route can be done in automatic mode again. And you see me switching over to automatic in a little bit here, where I know that certain portion is going to be uh, in automatically map and I don't have to manually do it. And then I may switch back to manual um, as other parts again if I find that the auto um, route is not working properly. See, in this case, I've switched back to uh, auto mode, and I know it gets real good to that point. And then afterwards, it's not going to do the other portion unless I'm in manual mode. Obviously, I can auto mode and use a different route than what Benji took because I can see there's another route that's on there that'll get me to the finish line. Okay. 
obviously you can also undo uh, different waypoints as you go along and that's what you decide once you're kind of happy with the route and it looks approximately very close to what Benji had go ahead and click save I'm going to keep it the same name but I'm going to switch the run type to trail because I know it's a trail uh, running route I'm going to put it on private I don't think it makes a difference of private or public but for now it's private then I can click my my route that I just created you can actually go through and they will actually show you um, the vertical elevation and the estimated mileage of the route I don't think it's exactly the same distance as uh, the original GPX but it'll it'll be good enough for you to load in your phone and use to uh, guide yourself when you're out there and not get lost okay guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's helpful and I hope you can use it to uh, you know not get lost when you're out there have fun